Shante. Okay, so we about to go in and uh, jump right into it. Shante in the building. Yes, yes, yes. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All right, so... We're just going to go in and just jump right into it. We're going to skip all the particulars. But um, are, are, you, are, are you a truck driver? And if so, how long you been driving for? Okay, I've been driving for a year and um, 10 months. Um, I've been with a company, Avers. I've been with them for a long, pretty, I mean, for a year. They pretty good. So, you know, if anybody needs a job, you know, go to Avers. Shout out to them. Um, I went to them to like get my experience up and stuff. Um, so I end up like the pay like, you know, after this this situation like with the gas price and all this stuff going up. Like everything like just started, you know, being weird. So I said I'm gonna just jump out on faith and you know, I said I'm gonna go to VL because I've been right, seeing right, people right, being, you know, right, coming. Right. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's back up a little bit. Okay. Let's back up. So you've been in a okay. you you've been in the game for about a year. You 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 got your experience through Averitt, right? Um yes, did yes. you did 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 you go through a school through them or you or you went or you went through no. a school on your own? Yeah, I went to school on my own at T D I in um Tupelo, Mississippi. Um yeah, you got you, you, was, you um, got that the, Mississippi uh, swag. You that that's where you from? <laughs> yeah, I'm straight out of Mississippi. Okay, uh, I I can hear the accent. I definitely could hear the accent. <laughs> All right, go go ahead. So uh, so the school down there out of pocket or 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 grant, how how did you do it? Um, out of pocket. So it really is, you know, a good school and stuff like um Everything was like good and stuff, so I had you know going there, and then I had uh went to Avery, and Avery, um, you know, I went and got my endorsements, like all my endorsements and stuff. And Avery like paid for everything, so they was pretty good. So um, okay, okay, so going to, so okay. so so Avery, Avery did you right, but uh you decided. Now, before you leave, before you left Avery, it, it wasn't no bad blood or anything with Avery. You you just wanted no. you just wanted to step out on faith to see if you can do the damn thing on your own, pretty much. Yes, yes, yes. No oh. bad blood with them. Shout okay. out to them. Love them. Okay, okay. <laughs> and now that you decided to step out on faith and and figuring you know that you want to do this trucking thing you know you know transcend mm -hmm. just being a company driver you wanted to transcend to be like more of a lease driver to get a feel for you know right. the trucking side of the business you decided right you right. decided <laughs> vl trucking now now <laughs> now before before we talk about vl trucking shout out to uh, rest in peace to you know one of the YouTubers that 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 pumped that pimped VL truck into the mats and that's uh that's uh, oh that was oh uh, my god uh, I heard that was Jay, Jay you know Big Jay ain't yeah, it? <laughs> Big, yeah, yeah Big Jay you know what I'm saying life with Jay trucking with Jay uh, unfortunately he succumbed to his uh, health crisis. And he just recently passed not too long ago. So rest in peace to him. But um, how did you come to find out about VL Trucking? Because I did a, I as you saw, because that's how we hooked up through the video. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I talked to several drivers and I did several uh, episodes about VL Trucking. Some good, some bad, some mm -hmm. up and down. Uh, <clears throat> but you got lawyers involved in everything. So tell us your experience yeah. with VL trucking. Basically, you about to like be laughing at this. Like, um, I had my friend, his name is Courtney. He um had told me about VL and stuff, and I was like, okay, my friend here, so okay, you know, he was like the money's good and all this stuff. But he ended up leaving. 
I'm like, okay, this should have been a sign or warning for Red me. Red flag. So Red when flag. I get, like, so when I get there, right, um, you know, got it, got there, and they were like rushing through orientation, and it was like my intuition was like saying, "Girls, you better know what you're doing when you sign anything." So, um. So I had, you know, they were rushing like through orientation. So they ended up putting us in a hotel and stuff because we was there like some hours. Like we was there, we came at nine o'clock and it was on, when is it, June the 13th? I think June the 13th or something like that. I'm going to have to get yeah, June 13th. That was on a Tuesday, I think. So remind you, uh, we came there and so me and this other guy. So. We was there for a long time. They had ended up, you know, like putting us in the room because, like, baby, they were chit chatting, doing all the air stuff. So the next day, we end up, you know, they resting us and resting us and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I need to try to, like, I was telling my sister, I was like, man, it's kind of weird. They resting up because I never been in the orientation when they, like, just rushed up like that. And all that now, stuff. So now, now break it down. You, break break it down a little bit. What what was they was actually rushing you through? Like it's the paperwork itself, the or or did yes. they did they break paperwork. down? Did they break down anything as far as what you know what what would be their responsibility and what Nothing. would be your responsibility? Nothing. They just here sign Nothing. this, sign this, sign Nothing. this, sign this basically nothing they broke nothing down so i was like um so next thing you know i had um i was like man hold on it's it weird so me and my home man the guy who came there i had said i'm about to go take out my truck okay remind you the truck they keep the truck clean that one thing i can say about it, they keep the truck clean the floors and all this so they keep stuff like that clean but under the hood you know some told me Wait, let me rewind that back. First, they tried to put me in. I had asked for 2019, right? They tried to put me in the 2017. I said, I don't want this because the 2017 had too many miles on. So the lady, she had caught an attitude and stuff. I was like, I don't care about it. Nobody catching an attitude because I'm leasing this truck. I know what I want. So they end up um putting me in a 2019 freight line. Okay, so... Everything was clean and all this stuff too. So, so Shante, told me to pop the hood. Shante, let let me let me rewind. Huh? Let me let me rewind back to the uh, orientation. Now I'm about to play devil's okay. advocate with you for a little bit. Now you you already said that okay. your you already said that your gut was telling you something was wrong. And every time a woman's gut yes. tells her something is wrong, it's always something's wrong. What did you exactly. did you did you by chance? Read any of the fine print, uh, anything like that? Why y'all was so forced? I mean, why y'all was so rushed to sign the paperwork to get, you know, to get going? I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie to you. No, no, I did not. It's crazy because I read after, and I was like, oh my god, like, what did I get myself into? Because they were like saying, so, so after that, like. It's just crazy because how they were saying, like, they were just rushing us, and we really didn't have time to look at the paperwork. So, basically, um, basically, um, so, uh, so, I had ended up going looking at the truck, look on the hood. All right, so yeah, we leave. back to the truck. All right, so you up under the, you, you yeah. up under the hood, looking, <laughs> checking around, what's, what's going on with the, what's going on up under the hood? Uh, okay, so I looked at the coolie, the coolie, the everything, the coolie, um, the whole coolie top. Everything was black. And I was like, this ain't normal. I said, like, what is this? They were like, oh, it ain't nothing wrong with it. And I was like, no, like, it's something wrong with this. Like, so my, you know, my friend, he was like, this on road react, you know, all that stuff. And I'm like, dude, like, your truck, you straight, so why mine's looking like this? So that was straight too. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe when I get in this, it's gonna be 
like a different ball game. Maybe I'm just nervous, you know, reacting over everything, right? So we end up, you know, taking the truck out. Everything was, you know, I was driving it. Everything was good. So the brake light thing kept coming on. I had looked. I said, hold on now. Like, do this supposed to do that? It was like saying trailer brake, like dragging. And I was like, like you you talking about you, you talking about the tra- you you talking about the ABS or the actual brake lights? Yeah. Trailer brake light kept going on, and he was like, "No, nah, just drive through it, just drive through it." That's what the man said, the Ukrainian man, whatever Eugene, whatever his name is. But he was like, "Just um, just drive through it." Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I would drove through it, <laughs> right? Yeah, so. Remind you, so the truck, it it was doing good. And so I had, they end up, we signed all our papers. So some told me, uh, so after I leave and stuff, like we left the truck, got our load. You know, I got a load and stuff. I had ended up getting like three, I did like three, three loads, right? Probably three or four. It wasn't one of them, but I did one of them. And the stuff got to be turned in before Tuesday midnight, right? So. I called the lady. I was like, it's some, um, no, but let me skip all that too. Let me wind that back too. So, DOT, we had like a DOT inspection thing, right? They you, were like, you they went through pay the, for you went, you went through like, the, go get me. you went through the scales or you had the, or you had a DOT inspection when you went to get a PM or something like that? On a truck would go to TA, go to TA, right? So, they were like, oh, we gonna pay for it and all this stuff. So, you know, I was calling the people, letting them know, so the truck brake light was out. And I was like, like, what's going on? So, you know, the man was like, oh, my God. He said, oh, you was in totally. He was like, I'm going to tell you like this. He said, get out of this immediately. The man didn't know nothing about me. He was like, get out of this. He just said, get out of it. Because he was like, because I kept calling them. They act like they couldn't have nobody, like, pay for the stuff because they said they going to pay for it. So the next day, I you know, I was there. So the next day, I had decided to go home because I was, like, close to my home time. So I had my mother and sister come pick me up. So next thing you know, they called me saying something about the brake lights and all that stuff. So I said, okay. So I was calling them, letting them know because they had said, like, if anything go wrong with it the first time with the DOT, especially they'll pay for it. Remind you. They called me. They were like, no, nah, we can't do that. We can't do that. You got to pay $498. Stop. Stop it. What? Oh, 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 hold on right quick. Wait. They mm-hmm. Now, you you leasing the truck. How, how much are you leasing this truck a, a, a week? $899. All right. So you close to $900 a week that you're leasing the right. truck. Did they say they had a truck for a whole three weeks? Did did they say anything to the fact that you're responsible for the repairs, even though that they knew that they gave yes. you a lemon? <laughs> yes, they didn't tell me none of it. This is what they said. That DOT inspection, they were like, "We gonna pay for all and whatever be, you know messed up." This is my dispatch said, "Whatever messed up, we'll." We'll get it because it's the first ten time around. Okay, Shantae, you know what I'm did you and did, I'm did you I, did you get that? <clears throat> did you get that in writing, or say like, did you get an email? Anything that's documenting the conversation between you and the so-called fleet manager? You know, it's fun. He always called me on the phone that's, with stuff like this. He yeah. called me on the phone and told me that. So that's why. So now I be texting them, then them know stuff, and I don't too want like get on the phone with them because I already know like I'm having proof for everything. So okay, he, so like, the truck, me, so, like, no. so the truck, the truck is still at TA, right? It's still at mm-hmm. TA. TA is wondering when they're going to get paid, and you're over here fighting with someone other than your fleet manager to pay it, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So, 
he ended up saying, oh, we can pay it, but they're going to come out your check. Dude, I didn't even have this truck for like a whole three months. I mean, I ain't even have it for a whole three weeks. So. So. <clears throat> truck is up at TA. They over here talking mm -hmm. about, they over here talking about, yeah, we'll pay for it. But we're going to, we, mm -hmm. we, we're going to, we're going to take it out your paycheck. But mm -hmm. again, like I said, they, they pretty much knew that they gave you a lemon. So what's, so this right. fast, so this fast track from, from the TA, is it, is, is the truck still at TA? What's, where, where, what's going on now? No. Okay, the truck is not at TA. They end up paying for it, but it still got docked out of my check. Okay. See, they have you going to the DOT and uh, sets and things with the TA because they know these trucks be bad. They know this. They know this. So they end up sending you there to get more money off of you. You know what I'm saying? They knew that this truck was bad. So the man was like saying all the electric problems. So the brake light is still be going off in the truck. The trailer brake is still be going off in the truck. So, so did they? The reason why I'm not out. Did did they huh? did they put you? Did they put you in another truck? Or what's the what's what? No, what? they not. No, I'm. But I'm gonna tell you like like no, they did not put me in another truck. This is what I did. Okay, the reason why I'm not on the road now because I've been on the road. They've been holding me, my chick, for like a whole three, going on four weeks now. I've been like driving and getting loads and stuff. So they were like, I guess they hold your chick for two weeks and stuff like this. So the reason why I'm not on the road because I'm like, I'm not about to be, you know, doing this and y'all sitting here, sitting here like barely, y'all ain't paying me. None of it. So the reason, so, and also, I, I don't want to get like, because I, I know you just waiting in line, but they've been feeling like hell, too. The reason why, because remind you prior to time, when I was, um, is this guy, I all of went to the same, we, it was the same DL leasing truck and right. So he went viral on TikTok, too, because I was telling him, like, okay, we had the same load. We were going to the same place. He got $2,000. Everybody else got $2,000. Guess how much I had got? What? $1,500. So and the guy was like... So everybody, everybody on that particular load got $2,000 yeah. for the load. Yep. Why, yep. Why? Why did they? Why did they downgrade you to like fifteen hundred dollars? What, what? What was the difference? Why? Because you was a woman. That's what I felt. That's what I felt. So I was telling the guy. I was telling the man was like, "You should never told her and all this." So he said, "No, I'm, I was gonna tell her because she, you know, she's a black woman. She in this trucking company, and she shouldn't be getting taken advantage of." Like, I go as hard as anybody. I don't believe in, like, when I'm driving, I don't believe in stopping. The only time I stop when I take a shower or fuel up. But otherwise, when I'm on a go, I get the loads there on time and sometimes ahead of time. So I feel like I should be getting treated equal. But everybody else feel like, oh, she a woman. They can be doing this to anybody else. But why everybody else got paid 2000 I only got paid 1500 So that was strike three right there. All right, so we carrying the same thing, hazmat. I'm carrying the same thing you care. So, so, so that I, so that I can understand this clearly, you only been with the company mm -hmm. for for three months, and within the three months, you getting three weeks or uh, three weeks, not, not three months, three weeks, three weeks, three weeks. So and within, I'm stuff already. so within the three weeks, you got a, you you got a lemon. You being treated like a stepchild, mm -hmm. and they messing with your money. Mm -hmm. That's that's yes, that's bad. three. That's me, that's three. That's that's a recipe for. That's a recipe for a disaster. You you know you don't mess with a driver's well, money. You and don't. They not showing. They not. They not showing. Exactly. They not showing you the rate cons. They not gonna do that. 
They're not going to show you how much you can pay for the load. If you ask them, they, they'll try to tell you. They'll tell you how much you can pay for the load. Then um, they'll tell you instead of you got to see. They did my other friend like that, too. He going through the same stuff. He going through the same stuff that I'm going through. So right now, it, I don't think it's because I'm a woman. I feel like, okay, we new beginners in this lease and stuff. So we about to see how we can get over. All right. So three weeks, you you had enough with VL. Sound, sounds, sounds so wicked, man. So what what made you uh what, what made you get a lawyer involved i mean you don't have to go into the legal ease of the of of the of the case if there's a case being built but what made you decide to get a lawyer involved what was the what was the straw that broke the camel's back okay so this week i've been telling this lady uh the lady um i've been telling her i'm like man y'all need to check into my money because First, they had a negative $735. And I'm like, dude, like, all that money that I've been getting on loads and stuff, then I write down my stuff. I write down everything because I know how it is. So, you know, all my money, while I'm in a negative 735 so I was like, y'all need to go check it. So she ended up, like, going back. They checked it. So this thing, you know, like, they were like saying this week I was gonna be getting like pay five hundred thirty dollars, and I was like, "What the? F Excuse me, I, I was like, what the f? Like, what do you? I mean, five hundred thirty dollars." So I ended you know, up calling back. I said, "Look here, I said I've been on this road with y'all for going on three weeks, going on three weeks. Ain't no way my check be to be no five hundred thirty dollars." So my mother's right there, so she kept going. I, she said, hold on, hold on. Like, she couldn't get her story right. The lady, she couldn't get her story right. So she put me on pause two times. So I started naming all the loads I did. And so she was like, oh, you only did three loads. And I did more than three loads. I got a screenshot. It. I did more than three loads. So every, like, every load that you do, long you get it in before Tuesday midnight, that should count, right? It should count. They haven't, like, it ain't counting. Like, I just did, like, one, one, two, or three loads. And I was like, I did more loads. I screenshotted everything. So they, you know, she was like, well, um, you going to pay, get paid $730. I was like, like that any more better. So my, um, tomorrow, my, um, cousin, she was like, she's going to see, she going to look into that, um, company because my cousin is a lawyer. And like, whenever I'm into a situation, she always handle everything. We always win. So, like I had said, like, I'm going to check into her and see if I got some because at the end of the day, like, much of the loads that, that y'all saying that I was making and bring home twenty two, twenty one hundred, um, sixteen, nineteen hundred, 1900 it ain't adding up, like, where are my money going to? Because I know I made a pretty good amount of money. And y'all were like, you got it first, you know I was going to get paid. My other homeboy, he got paid $1,600. He pissed off, too, because he went to all the way Connecticut and going these different long routes and stuff. And feel is high for, you know, for us to be, you know, sitting here being played like that. So, be honest, people just, the females, men, anybody that sound good and look good is not good. And I got and I got screen I got screenshots for days what they be doing. Like how you gonna see here first? I said my tip gonna be five hundred and thirty dollars. Then you turn around and say seven hundred and thirty. So you don't think they're a little bit too sketchy? You saying one thing and the opposite. All right, all right, Shante. So Man, well, first thing first, thank you for coming on and sharing your experience uh, mm -hmm. with VL. But let me ask you this again: probably might be playing devil's advocate with you, but you've only mm -hmm. been you you only been there for three weeks, and I mean, within that three weeks, you 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 experienced some major major problems. Would you? Yes. Would you? Would you feel? as though is that the problems that you 
that you had occurred with them would that constitute as being a discount uh, a disgruntled driver because i mean you only been there for three weeks mm-hmm. but it didn't you know i'm about to put the, this on here too okay three weeks i know at the end of the day like out of all three weeks i never like you know everything is just sketchy and when your women intuition go kicking you better believe everything is is, is about to break because when I first came in, I got a bad vibe. I'm not going to lie to you. I got a bad vibe when it came. And I just, like, real life wish that I could turn turn around and just just start back over and just not do it no more. Just got on a plane and went back to Mississippi because this is the worst experience I ever experienced in my life. Out of all the companies I went to, like um, Avery, Warner's, like company driver, they never did no stuff like that. They never play with nobody money. And like I said, them people are all for themselves. And people gonna realize at the end that they for themselves. They don't have Range Rovers and Lamborghinis for nothing now. Mm. They all, all right. For so, so with 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 that bad taste in your mouth, that that uh, bad experience, uh, would that would that deter you from? ever doing leasing again or would you you know no. would you now <laughs> no. now use would you now use that experience that you have learned from vl trucking and put that towards what you yeah. lo and put that what you learned to find a better leasing opportunity for you that that's what you'll do in the future I'm, or i'm not or are you going to go back to company driver until you get yourself situated? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. And like I said, like sometimes, like I'm going to continue stepping out on faith because when one thing ain't good for you, you can try something else. Like I'm the type, I'm not going to give up. So I feel like this leasing company that I'm looking into, it's called ATS. Um, ATS, and I heard good stuff about them. So that's why I'm going to try to, you know, shoot my shot at. And I feel like this, never ever give up. Just because one bad taste is in your mouth don't mean other companies like that either. I'm looking in two companies, um, two companies about the leasing, and I'm going to still try to go and do what I got to do and try to own my truck one day because it's my dream. All right, Shantae in the building. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate you coming on the Lockout Men podcast show and, and uh, sharing your experience with... Uh, well, VL Trucking, much, much more success. It sounds like you got your head on right as far as what you want to do in yes. the future. <laughs> yes. Um, and anybody go to VL Trucking, ask for them rate comments. I'm telling you, they will steal from you under your nose. All right. All right. Aware. Guys, you know the women. Guys, you know the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. If you guys like to jump on, y'all know how to do it. 216-600-2090. And we will get it in. Just like my girl Shantae. Thank you, Shantae, for your support, your subscription, and everything. I really appreciate you rocking out with me on the Lockout Man podcast show. Definitely much success to you in the future. And uh we'll definitely Thank get, you. We'll definitely connect with each other again, right? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm going to let you know how everything goes. <laughs>